thank you so much for taking time out to speak to me today. Um, it's it's your your um, image and the way you are and who you are. It surpasses you as someone who's quite mischievous and someone who's quite enlightened, but also uh, very humorous and. Um, and I have to say, quite uh, informed, informed in some things that sometimes people don't even take time to consider and take a moment to look at some of the smaller things in life instead of always tackling the big things. So I guess I have to ask, I mean, where did the message and how did you discover the light, I guess, that you are now shining upon everyone else? I also thrive on the sunlight. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a lot of it in India. Right. <laughs> The most important thing, the most important aspect of my life is I never identified anything as small or big. Even today, I pay the same level of attention to everything. I have no anything small or big. I have to kind of encapsulate that, I can say this. You know, uh, my daughter has been traveling with me since she was three and a half months of age. Wow. So that was the time when I was driving across India, uh -huh. building the foundation at that time. So every day we are in a different home. One big problem in the world is every adult want to teach. When they see a child, they want to teach. Uh -huh. They want to teach them something that's not worked in their life. <laughs> okay, interesting. Please give me an example of that. <laughs> it's obvious it's not worked because between most adults and their children, if you look at it, who is more joyful? The child is more joyful. So who should be a consultant for life? It should be the child. It's just that adults, the only qualification that they have is they came here a few years ahead of the child. They might have learned a few survival tricks. Beyond that, they know nothing about life that the child doesn't know. So I made one rule, nobody teaches her anything. Nobody teach her ABC, one, two, three, na Mary had a little lamb, because I don't care whether Mary had a lamb or not <laughs> Brilliant. So, nobody taught her anything. Because nobody taught her anything, she was all ears. By the time she was eighteen months, she was speaking three languages fluently and many other things like that because n no overload of trying to teach her anything. She simply picked up whatever she can. So when she was twelve, thirteen years of age, she came back from school one day and she was disturbed about what happened there. Then she said, uh, you're teaching everybody so many things, you're not teaching me anything. <laughs> I said, well, I don't… I am not known to teach anything unsolicited, here you are. And I said, see, this is all you need to know. Never look up to anything. She looked at me like this, with a question mark on her face, whether… what about you kind of thing. I said, not even me. Never look up to anybody, never look down on anybody, and this is all. If you don't look up to anything, if you don't look down on anything, you will pay attention to everything. If you pay attention to everything and see everything just the way it is, without prejudice of what is big and what is small, what is good and what's bad, what is virtue and what is sin, simply look at everything as it is, you will effortlessly navigate your way through life. So. I'm not paying attention to small or big, I'm just paying attention to whatever there is.